are the man behind the biggest shrimp farming here in West Africa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How does it feel to be the owner of this shrimp farming? It's so amazing. I mean, I can't tell how it all started and then uh, where we are today is so, so, so much amazing. I mean, I'm, you were born and raised in Ghana? Yes, sir. Fully Ghanaian. Fully Ghanaian. In and out, yes. In and out. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened? Like, you lived in Ghana all your life or what? No, I've been in Japan and then um, after some time I decided to come home and then, uh, you know, start my thing. And that is how it all started, yes. Wow. Yes. So, what is the inspiration behind shrimp farming? That, because that, all I know is um, yeah. tilapia farming. We, a lot. A lot of people, when you mention shrimp, and they even, oh, what a, are you talking of the smaller red one that we eat with Kenke? Yeah. And I said, no, 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 these ones are big. And they said, how do they look like? And then <laughs> I said, look, I've lived in Japan and uh, this is their delicacy. I mean, wow. Asians, like on a daily basis, I eat shrimp in Japan. So how come you guys don't know? So, you know, the university came in and then we started the pilot and then now it's history because now we are spreading all over Africa about this uh, project, the shrimp uh, farm uh, project, because uh, look at our water bodies. When I looked at it, when the university came and we were going around, we were looking at our water bodies. Our lands are virgin, water not contaminated, and that is what shrimp likes. I, I mean, like... This is mind blowing, yeah? yeah. It is. But the water I'm seeing, I don't know where does the water come from. <laughs> it comes. See, we are in the middle of the sea and the river. Oh. So the mixture of sea and river is what we are using in this pond. Is, we are blessed. Is that the technique behind it? <laughs> that is the technique behind it so because you can't use river alone. No, you can't use river alone. No, you need a mixture of sea and, and we call it brackish water. And mm. that is the water that um, is meant for shrimp production. So I, everything we do here, you need a mixture before it will happen. I mean, I'm kind of confused because I don't know whether you went to school to <laughs> learn how to do fish, uh, how do you call it? Uh, how do you call it? Shrimp, shrimp farming. farming. Uh, you, no. How did you learn it? No, it's so along the way, you see, now we, we are, thank God, I mean, we are in the era of information. Amazing. So everything that you really uh, put your mind into, I mean, you can achieve it. I mean, yes, I go to the professors, uh, do, those are doing marine, to learn, study from them, and I do my own research too. Uh, you, you know, we're, we're in the era of uh, the, the Professor Google. <laughs> <laughs> so Google helps you. It does Google a lot. Is your friend, yeah? It does a lot. Let me know how many acres in here. Now here we have 38 here. Wow. 38 acres here, but the bigger project we have over 1,200 acres that we want to start. Pro we. In fact, we've started put, uh, uh, constructing the pond. Constructing wow. the pond. I, I read this. Um, I mean, before I came in here. Okay. They said you have the Ghana's new oil. Exactly. It is the Ghana's new that oil. Is this more than more than lucrative? Have you seen a business that gives you hundred percent profit? Shrimp farm gives you hundred percent profit. Wow. Yes, it does. But, but I, how, I, how many shrimps do you have? Here alone, we have three tons that we are going to harvest. You know, 3,000 kg. 3,000 kg. I'm not a good mathematician, but you do the math, <laughs> multiply it by 10 or 11 dollars because now the sizes we have, the market price is between 11 and 12 dollars. We are hoping that December it will shoot to 15. So we are waiting, I mean, to see. Uh, when it is December, then, you know, we get 15 to $16. So if you do the math, you have three tons here. If you have 2,000 pounds, mm. that each has three pounds, uh, 3,000 uh, kg, you do the math. Wow. Now, now I believe it's the Ghana's new oil. It, yeah. it, it is. Wow. It is. But I just want to know, <laughs> did you start this alone? I started it with a... Like I told you, the university mm -hmm. started and then I, I picked it up. And, but now I'm doing it alone. Wow. Yes, I'm doing it alone. It's capital intensive, very, very intensive. But uh, 
you know, the most have been good. Uh, so far, we've been able to manage. But since you're saying it's lucrative, it is. Don't you think you need people to support? I you? need more than more than more than people, more than support. I mean, I want investors will be partners. You name it. I mean, fund management, whoever can, whatever, whatever, to expand the business because the opportunity is here. Like I told you, fine. Southeast Asia are doing their thing. But you see, they started 40, 50 years ago. And you can tell how contaminated, excuse me to say, but yeah, their land is now gone. Yeah, but here we are, virgin land, waters clean, which is what the shrimp wants. What else? And the hard work, the good side of it is that the investor who will be coming, we've already done the hard work. Everything is set for him to come and start making his money. So it's a done deal. I, I would love to see um, some of the shrimps before we continue. But surely, 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 surely. Uh, let me get. Let us. me get my guys. They will come right now, and then we'll get it done. This is one of the staff who is going to handle the harvest. I mean, he will demonstrate how we harvest the shrimp from the pond, and uh, this is what we do. We don't rush them. We take them slowly, quietly and then we do the packing. So, throw it. Throw it. Oh, okay. Yes. So this is how we do. In maybe five minutes, you see what will come out of this net that we just threw. Five minutes is up. Let's see what we got. Wow. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. There they come. Oh, that one has escaped. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Ah, yes. That's a lot. So, Richard. Woo. Okay, let me show you this one. Ooh. Oops. That is black tiger shrimp, monodon. So, uh, uh, what type of fish? Um, fish. I keep on saying fish, fish. Yes, it's. What type of shrimp family are you doing? It's monodon. We do black tiger. This is uh, the botanical name is monodon. Is it, is it the most expensive? The most expensive shrimp. Yes. Wow. It's fresh. It's fresh and healthy. I can eat this roll. Yes, I do too. <laughs> but my guys, they will run when you start eating it raw. Well, nah. uh, if you live in Asia, you <laughs> have yes, to, you have to eat raw, man. So look at it. Look at the size mm. and look at how healthy they are. Wow. As for the, the taste, the taste, it speaks for itself. Mm, I have to try it out. Sure. I have to try it out. We but will. How, how do you feed them? Okay. Like I told you, I will take you to one of our guys, then you see it. Mm. So which means that you have people that you work with? Yes, I have people that I work with. You, you train them? Or we, we, they, they yes, we, 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 we train them, we train them, they are locals. We train them and they are all over the, the, the ponds. You are actually creating employment in Begada. We are doing and we want to do more. And this is what will create opportunity for Ghanaians, for them to stop traveling outside, taking all the, the, the risk in going to Europe through uh, those devious means. But you know, when we were growing up, they told us that shrimp farming, fish farming, farming is mm. for poor people. Unfortunately, we've been misled. But <laughs> <laughs> we've been misled. Farming is a thing of the day. Imagine Corona came, People were still eating, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, we had lockdowns. You are in the room, in the house. Mm. You still eat, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah. So we've been misled. I, I I just want to know. Yeah. I don't know if you want to tell me. Sure. When I came here, I've not seen any baby shrimp. I just <laughs> see big shrimps all over. <laughs> what do you get? Okay, it's a top secret. We have a hatchery. Okay. Where we hatch. So this is about 3 kg, just one net and we have 3 kg. 
And but, I just want to know, yeah? Yes. Do you just sell this in Ghana or you... Yes, we sell in Ghana and we sell to the neighboring countries. Which Abi countries? Abidjan and Togo and uh, one other place that uh, they call us. Madagascar Madagascar. Called us. Yes, Madagascar called us. M most of my audience hmm. are not um, in Africa alone. Okay. They're all over the place. Sure. And um, on my channel, yes. we say it's by force to support okay. an African business. Sure. So I'm going to tell them that it's by force sure. for them to order these streams from you. To order these streams and to invest in expanding the, the, the business. That, that is fantastic. Oh! <laughs> 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 you, you you know, so please, um, if, if you want to order these shrimps, you have sure. to contact the numbers on your screen. If you also want to invest in this shrimp farming, yeah. contact the numbers on screen. You're not going to talk to me, you're going to talk to him directly. Sure. And um, yeah, um, can I, I want to see that hatch. Sure, before I leave. I'll take you there. Thank you. Uh -huh. So we're just coming from the blue stock. Okay. We, we saw the male and female. Female, yeah. Okay, okay. so when they produce eggs and then the peels, are ready then we transfer them into these ponds so this are pond you trying to tell me that mm. with all the streams that we see there yes it was just from these two people just from these two 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 shrimps. two shrimps two shrimps and this is what they give us what you are seeing now are the shrimps these are the shrimps yes these are the shrimps. How many eggs do they lay? They lay between 1 million to 3 million. Eggs? Uh, let me repeat again. Between 1 million. Just that one. Just that one. Between 1 and two, 3 million. So what we have here is between 1.5 to 2.5 million babies. And then like how many months does it take before you transfer them to that place? A month. Maximum a month. A month and then we transfer them to the uh, production pond. A growth pond. There is another question that I did not ask you. Sure, yet. sure. So we have like how many stages um, from from getting the blue stock from the male and female, from the eggs when they lay the eggs, it comes to one pond there, and then when the babies are ready, the peels, then it comes. So in all, it's four stages. Four stages, but I've yeah. not seen a cold store because I know when shrimps are out of water, yes. they can survive for a long sure. time. Sure, so when we are done from the harvesting, mm -hmm. there's a cold room okay. that we pack the shrimp. Can we see where the cold room Definitely is? Definitely, I'm going to show you the, where the cold room is. Okay. This is the cold room. Wow. This is where we stock everything that comes from the ponds. This is where we, we stock them. And then from here? From here, boom, it goes outside. You're doing an amazing job. Thanks a and lot. And I just want to say that Thanks. congratulations Same for building thing. the biggest I mean, shrimp farming here Thank in you. Ghana. Thank you. But I just also want to ask you, do you believe that Africa is the future? It is, it is more than the future. We have everything here. This is where life started. So why is it not the future? Wow. Everything is here, and I'm. This is. I'm sending this message to all the brothers in diaspora that look, we can make it. Once life started here, what it is that we can do here? You know, once life started in here, what is it that we can do in here? Yes. But hey, we all left. Yes. And we are coming back. Sure. Even coming back, sure. you cannot tell me that when you started your yeah. um, <laughs> shrimp farming, you yeah. never faced any challenges. Yeah. Can you just let me know what are some of the difficulties that you faced when you started? This? Well, it's just like in any any other countries. I mm. mean, please. I mean, there are challenges in business in mm. starting a business stand those challenges overcome those challenges and then you move on yes you ask me a question the direct thing i'll tell you is that yes there are challenges yes as what is the challenges you know you know mindset of course you have to train these kids slowly slowly you can't expect them to you know pick it up today no you slowly slowly you pick them you train them yeah. like you saw my guys over there exactly you will see some too very soon we are training them and you know, they are coping. We are wow. getting there. I just want to say thank you so much for talking to me and wish you all the best. And thank my you. subscribers out there will thank definitely you. come and invest. And some will also come and buy. Thank so you. So if they come in here, let me know that. I would definitely Odamaya know you. Thank you, Odamaya. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thank and then keep up you. the good work.